to Sim Bright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial here on this channel. So today's uh, tutorial will be making an inverted uh, bask. Okay, we are making an inverted bask uh, line. It's a princess that inverted bask line. So since we are making this inverted bask line, it's actually very simple. Here I have my small scale drafting to illustrate this. I have the shoulder line. I have my chest line for the small scale. This is the bust point, under bust point. This is my waist front length line and my hip line, my knee line. And finally, we have our full length for this gown. So right now, we want to start up the uh, making of this dress. And usually, what we do here is to get our midline for our shoulder line. So once that midline is gotten, it's being connected to the bust point. And after that, we'll be taking our bust circumference difference. So from bust point to under bust, for this small scale, this is the difference. And I'm taking the difference all around, okay, to show where my bust is going to sit. So here, my bust is going to sit at this point of the circle. So the next thing I want to do now is the princess dart. So we'll be connecting our princess dart first. So to connect the princess dart, you are going to take what you have on your armhole and get the midpoint. So here, I have 5.5. And the midline of my 5.5 falls at 2.75. So I'll just mark 2.75 right here. So I love to come down by one inch. So, but for this, I'll just pretend this is my one inch. So once that is done, I'll just go ahead and impute my uh, that. Okay. I'm going to create my princess that so i will leave it at that point but note that if you are making a princess that you need to come out by 0.75 to accommodate your that or even 0.5 okay so i'll just do that and i've accommodated that so next is the under bust so another thing i want to explain is on the that okay so if i close up the that i have here you are familiar with this because this is the half length or half body that. But when you are making a gown, from your actual waist, you need to come up by 2 inches. So this is 2 inches to create your that. So you can see your that. So my that here is 1.5. That is my that width. Or the quantity of my that here is 1.5. So then you impute your bust that. So now... I'm going to measure what I have on my under bust, okay, divide by 4, this is what I have, so the difference I have here, I'm going to put 0 0.25 here, and the rest of the difference here, okay, so you can go back to our videos to see how your under bust is being contoured effectively, so here I've done this. So next I'm going to do is to connect what I have from here to this that point and I'll go in this way, okay? So, and the next we want to do now is that back line. So for your back line, I'll encourage you to have your midline for the waist and the hip line. So this is my midline, okay? So if you look at it and you feel that is not what you want. You can go from the midline um, by one inch. So it still works. So the most important thing is to take the technique. So for this, I'll just connect my pattern ruler going this way to that point. Okay. So I'll just place my pattern. But another thing is I'm working on a small scale. So it might be difficult for you to get that curve. So this is what I will do. I'll just freehand, can you see? I've just freehanded that curve, okay? So for yours, it might not pass, it might not pass through because I'm working on a small scale. That is why I have it pass through. So I'm cutting this dress now 
and you can do whatever you want to do on the damp part so on that damp part you can see we have a flay on that part so So I'm going to cut my neckline. So neckline is by choice. You can go ahead and increase your neckline. So the most important thing is the basque line which we are created. We are creating for this dress. So I just get because it's a princess that I just cut this thing into my princess that. So let me go on the front line which is going to be on fold so this is all everything here is going to be on fold so i just go in this way into the darts and i'm following this line so you can see the line i followed for my dart up to that point and i'll just go into here following the con under bus contour line up to this point as you can see so now i'm going to cut the skirt piece so the skirt piece will be cut from here and join back can you see so this is the skirt part so like i said whatever you want to do here if you need a flay just determine where you want the flay if you need it above the knee line, you can go three inches above and cut and attach your flay to your full length. So we are not talking about this now. So what we are talking about is the inverted basque. So here I'm going to do this and I'll just go ahead and apply my adhesive. Okay. So what I did right here, you are going to do same for the back as well, as you can see. So this is it, and this is how your um, your dress is going to. So by the time you join it, you notice this part and this part is going to be joined and have the back effect. Then you place your um, your skirt piece of your pattern and also join everything. So you have what you are looking for for this dress. So I believe this illustration is helpful to you. So if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends, drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well. Thank you for coming and see you in the next class. Bye.